Hi guys, Ozzy Coin Hunter here. Holy dooly, I forgot about that. Well, <clears throat> I've decided to come back to an old favourite spot. Um, I had plans to go somewhere else, but I've been here so many times. Last time I was here, in fact, found a hat badge rising sun that was folded over. Um, so here I am again, back on this site. So many great memories here, and here I am, back again. So let's see what we find. So yeah, got a nice signal here. It wasn't coming into the 60s, but looks like some of those things you have in a tire repair kit for scratching the tire, the tube, and you want to repair it. But there doesn't seem to have rough edges, so you have to clean that up and see if there's any more clues later. Yeah, this site is, I know this portion of the uh, where I am is of the farm site was a rubbish pit so often this, these signals I've passed over many times before and 50s, 40s, 70s got of iron grunts in there and there's these spots and it just leaves you wondering what is it, see? And they're good. Fair way down. So that's what I'm going to go for today. Um, this is what I do from time to time in this side. I just have a crack at stuff that's not perfect but has some high tone in it and want to find out what it is. I found a beautiful, um, in one of my earliest video, early videos, on this very site, could be something over there, a um, 1914 Indian coin with George V on the back. So I should be in the right spot. I'll turn the camera off for now until I get closer. That's what I'm talking about, I've got straight away I've got bits of crockery. It's picking up something down the bottom, so. Now that to me looks like melted glass. And it is. Oh, I can feel glass in there, so this is where you've got to really watch yourself. Oh, another bit of glass with a bit of a pattern on. Oh, I see something. Another bit of glass, that's flat glass. Something in the middle, so I was on to something. There was iron with this. A few interesting looking items coming up. And that seems to be a jar lid. Now I just got an interesting signal and pulled up a an old style bike valve. Yeah, right there I can see something. Rusty, rusty metal. Looks like rusty metal anyway. Yep, rusty metal. I think I'm going to have to get back to you. See if I can expose it. Okay, so I've got it out finally. It's a bit of a cut off of a steel pipe. Must be water pipe, irrigation pipe, because I uh, found a lot of stuff like this. It's quite dark now. Here's the red light and put this on for when I film. And it's an 80 she's deep that's an 84 but I've got to keep going I've got a lot of digging to do uh, to get down to it it's pretty deep so I'll get back to you man just been thrashing the ground so I'm starting to pick it up now it's very deep Smash the ground a bit to get all this sand out, but all right, it's there. Something there. Smash 
messed up ground a bit. That looks rusty, but what is it? What's oh, a coin? It's a coin. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. I reckon that is, uh, it's got to be a Commonwealth, it feels like a Commonwealth. Very, very crusty. I'll zoom in on it. Half penny, yep, half. You can see half at the bottom there. Clean it up a bit better when I get home, but it is time to go home. And <laughs> how's that? I have dug all sorts of rubbish today. And a half penny. A site that I've thrashed many, many times. It's a bouncing between 60 and 80. Small target. It's unclear on this side. Bouncing up 60 to 70 now. Occasionally 80. Oh, look at that. A bit of old wire with a nut on it. Hmm. Copper wire. Alright, so. Look at this. I've got a. Both ways. 70s. Gonna get the shovel away from me. And have my machine on a tether but so it's, it's a bit of a pain. This is the last one, that other one spurred me on. Let's see what we get with the reading now. in there. Stick a bit of this out. Okay. Alright. Getting close. Move it on that side. What's that? What's that? Ooh, it's a little coin. Looks like. No, it's not too old. Sorry. Let's go bright. Yep, it's a. Uh... Oh, very nice. 1938. Australia, three pence. 1938. That's uh, George the Sixth for sure. Look at that. 
just keep coming back and it always pays off. You got a little uh, copper wire. Well, I'm committing the cardinal sin and swinging on the way back to the car, but I've got to. Eighty two here. It's about five to fifteen centimeters deep. Uh, so we're going to dig it. Let's turn it down a touch. Now I'm guessing it's a two cent coin. Where are you? Yep, there it is. Two cent coin. She's pretty crusty, but. Okay, so back. I've bashed this. This was a, uh, I think some kind of aluminum pot. I tried to get it into shape. Um. The cut off bit of pipe, the lid, a couple of ring pulls, some copper wire, odd little pieces, a very thin piece of brass slash copper, I'd say copper actually, very extremely thin if I do this, that's it, it's toast, got a press stud off overalls or something, some blobs, Bits of can slaw, bottle caps, just odd bits of junk. You would find the, uh, if I can zoom this in, you'll be able to see the flowers, the print of flowers on the, on the plate, see? Nice print there. Red and black flowers with green. You can see the tinge of it on there. Got a bit of age to it, that one. Try to get it to focus, but it's not. Anyway, found uh, this. I'm still certain this is from. It's kind of a blob in the middle, but I can't see anything of it. It's the same this side, but I reckon that's from one of those bicycle type tube repair kits. We've got a uh, cog parts here. As you can see there, we've got all the cogs and stuff. Um, yeah, that could have been the outer face of the clock. The bicycle tube. The uh, valve, the old valves. And I uh, found a little Scot. I didn't realise, but it's a little Scottish man. It's from Kinder Surprise. They're the little men from Kinder Surprise toys. He's blowing on the bagpipes by the looks of it, but he's lost his head. Got a two cent coin you saw before, a uh, ten cent coin still spendable, so we'll clean that one up and put him back in circulation. Then we got the 1938 three pence. And the 1940 something half penny. Alright, guys, take care. Good luck out there. Bye for now.